All you have to do is spin in a circle here at the Farm Progress Show, and you're going to see piece of equipment after piece of equipment after piece of equipment. Now, what do they all do? I don't know, but I found someone who does, and specifically what the Rhino Ag equipment does. His name is Warren Evans. He's the uh, marketing director at Rhino Ag. First of all, thanks for having us, and uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys do and how you do it. Well, we're out of Gibson City, Illinois, and we manufacture a whole bunch of attachments for tractors. Uh, we make your tractor better. That's what I like to say. <laughs> so uh, our, our most popular popular what we're known for is flex wings uh, we have the only 10 foot flex wing in the world um, it's the one behind this little uh, gate here showing it's five foot eight inches wide when it goes through the gate so you can go through a six foot gate and then our next pop next one is a 12 and go up all the way to 20 footers but that's what we're known for but we make single spindles we've got new uh, multi spindles we're introducing here at the show uh, we call them TR series have uh, two three inch cut capacities so really the diameter of our arm it'll cut all day of brush um, clear up a woods make turn it into state park now uh, i heard somebody else uh, from your team say earlier you make tall grass short which i love it's a great, great uh, way to explain it I, i'm fairly familiar with these seeing them on the interstate right when they have to cut like hills and they have to have the is that primarily their use or are they sort of everywhere that's what the public sees and that's a big portion of our market uh, the roadside that's what that's how they get their toughness because you know you never know if you're gonna find a tire in the weeds or a, a, a part of a car a bumper or something and and they'll hit that and survive it and so that's where the public sees them but farmers use them to uh, keep their their fields open so the woods doesn't take them over mm -hmm. uh, you know how the trees overhang we have uh, cutter boom mowers that reach up and cut the trees back so they keep their farmland and then they clear all their waterways their roadsides uh, but farmers use them a lot even for now uh, the stalk shredding of the corn now you have a couple of new pieces of equipment you guys are debuting at this show this week tell me about those in layman's terms i'm i'm a novice when it comes to ag stuff here so you're gonna have to help me out well on the rhino ag side we've got the new tr series cutters those are pull type and lift type go right on the back of the tractor uh two gearboxes so that depending on how where how far apart we put those depends on the width you get but they're really tough and what's unique about those is it allows you to back into a corner of a pasture or field so you don't have to try to uh, back a trailer all of our flex wings are like backing the, the pull types you can just maneuver your tractor right into the corner and clean up that area and uh, little birdie told me that you guys have a facility that's uh, coming to gibson city or a new one tell me a little bit about that so that's a whole new deal uh, I, I say it's kind of crazy you know how you hear god works in mysterious <laughs> ways well uh, my father invented Dixie Chopper lawnmowers, and I got out of the family business in 2006. Never intended to touch another's ETR as long as I live, and I've been with Rhino Ag for three years, and they purchased it <laughs> on uh, August 5th, and now I'm learning what my role will be, but uh, uh, Dixie Chopper lawnmowers, the, uh, the previous company shut it off, shut, went in, shut the lights off, and all the end users and the dealers thought, now what? So now we've opened up the parts, they're shipping, everything's going, and we're moving, we're moving the manufacturing to Gibson City. Sounds like we got a friend over here yeah. that's uh, warming up. This isn't one of your deals, right? Not, not this time, no. <laughs> we do have a jet-powered lawnmower that we may do next year. Oh, man. Invite us back for that if you would. I will. I will. Thanks so much. If you want more details on Rhino Ag, I'm going to go find out what that is, but we'll have all the details at CILiving.tv.